Hello, this is how to fix any error sticks in the OP Nano 2. So in this video, I'll be showing how to do it on a VET scale, but this also applies to a non NTEP floor scale. So this is my VET scale. This is the metal platform that comes in and you'll notice there's a hole right here. So this is where you're taking your feet and you screw into the load cell. I recommend screwing it all the way in. Now do it for all four corners and then place it down. Now with your bed scale on the floor, make sure the cable's clear and you'll get your metal tin, your cover, that goes on top of the bed scale. So this is the metal cover and you'll place it on top of your bed scale. So now it looks like a bed skill should look like. So check your four pin connector, run your hands through the cable and make sure there's no cuts, dense smush spots in the cable itself. And if the cable itself is fine, make sure the four pin connector is attached to your OP902 where it's labeled as load cell. Make sure to connect it all the way in and make sure the cable itself is not damaged anyway. Now we're trying to get into calibration settings. Make sure your indicator is off. Make sure there's batteries inside. And this is the complicated part. When it turns on, we're going to be pressing and holding the hold and units button at the same time. So while it's going to countdown mode, that's when you can get into calibration. So you turn it on. You'll see countdown. Hold, press and hold the hold and units button and it should say cal. If you don't need cal, then turn it off, turn it back on, then make sure you're holding the hold and units button for three seconds. If you're here and you press hold and units button, you'll see off 10 appear. That is not how to get into calibration settings. This is just for different settings like how long to turn off the backlight, different settings that won't actually get into calibration. So what you're gonna do is press the on off button and go back to your normal weight mode. Turn it off, turn it back on, and while it's countdown, press and hold the hold and units button for three seconds. So now you're in Cal, press hold. So right now it's F56. You can decrement the value by pressing the units button. Yours might be F55 or F54. We're gonna keep pressing the units button until you get to F56. This will make our manual calibration. So you see DP1, that's the amount of decimal places you'll have. You can change it by pressing the units button if you want zero decimal places. You want four, three, two, one. We'll leave it one decimal place for now. Press hold. D2, that's the amount of divisions. So that's how many it will increment by. Since right now it's one decimal place, you will see it go from 0 0.2 pounds to 0 0.4 pounds to 0 0.6 pounds. If you have zero decimal places, it will just go from 0 to 2 pounds, 4 pounds, 6 pounds. It increments by 2. For, for most people, since we're doing one decimal place, 0.2 pounds should be fine. Press hold. Cap is the capacity of your scale. So this is where it differs between the non NTEP floor scale and the VET scale. So you'll know the capacity when you buy it. This has 1,000, my vet scale is 1,000 pounds, but let's say you had a 5,000 pound non NTEP floor scale, you press zero to move left. Now the flashing number moves left, and you keep pressing it, and you make that 1,000, decrement by pressing the units button, and you could keep pressing it until you see, let's say 5,000, if it was a 5,000 pound non NTEP floor scale. If my vet scale is only 1,000 pound, maybe a vet scale, we only have 1,000 pounds. 1,000.0 should be fine. Press hold. Now you'll see load. This is where you're going to be using your weight to calibrate. So how much weight are you going to put on it? So right now it says 551.2. That's 551.2 pounds. So I will use my body weight. 
of 155 pounds. So 155.0 pounds. Make sure everything's clear and scale. It's just telling the indicator, okay, I'm going to be placing 155 pounds in the future. If you're going to put 100 pounds, then you're going to move left, make it 100.0, or if you don't put decimal places, 100.0. You'll put whatever weight you're going to be using for calibration. In my case, it's my own body weight, but if we, whatever it is in your case. Now press the units button. Press the hold button, it'll say cal on. That's good. Press hold again. So no load. You now see no load. Check your scale. There's nothing on it. Make sure it's clear of everything. You'll see no load. That's fine. That's good. Press hold. Now you see add that load. If you're using non antep floor scale or a vet scale, this is where you put your weight on it right now. So I'm going to stand on it. And you'll still see add load. But whatever weight you're going to be put on it, this is where you put it on. Add load. Press the hold button. And you'll see cal end. That means calibration is now done. Now remove your weight. In my case, I'm gonna stand off the scale, but whatever weight you're gonna put on it, remove it now. Cal end, make sure nothing on the scale. Everything's clear. Press the hold button. 0, 0.0, that's good, because there's nothing on it. Now put your weight on it to see if it's correct. In my case, I'm just gonna stand on it. And it should be correct. And my scale went back to zero. There's no weight on it. 